Okay, a few more words on the media. Um, again, you you want to communicate properly. You have to communicate. Uh, somebody has to be designated to talk to the media. But you you definitely want to manage what you say to the media. Now, the, you cannot hide. You cannot just you know, not tell them anything, um, and in particular, you can't lie. Um, basically, when people think you're hiding, they always imagine the worst. And so, um, and not saying anything or, or denying things or uh, lying about things that people can verify that you're lying about, um, that is... Uh, bad strategy that um, is uh, you know definitely going to get you in trouble um, it is going to give your company a black eye uh, you know when uh, people find that you're you're doing that they assume that things are, are worse than they actually are and you know you you don't want that as uh, you know your reputational damage in the situation. It's already bad enough that you took a hit, um, and you know it's it's very difficult um, trying to manage the the media. They are not very tractable to to being uh, managed. Now, that is not to say that there are not certain things that you can do. They need a story. You know, if you give them a story, even if it's a distraction from uh, something you, you don't particularly want reported, um, you know, if, if there is a story there, um, they'll probably go with that. You know, so if you can get them interested in, in something and, and away from... Uh, some information that you would rather not publicize. Uh, you know, go go with that. Have you know, have something interesting, uh, some kind of human interest uh, about what is going on. But uh, this is this is not something for untrained people to do. This is not something that's going to come naturally to you. Um, you. <clears throat> are going, uh, you know, either have people who are well familiar with, with doing this type of thing, with, with publicity, and, you know, maybe you have somebody good enough for that in, in your public relations department, but, you know, if, if you don't, you know, this is not a game for amateurs. Do not try this at home, as they say. But um, you definitely have to have policies and procedures, you know, who gets to talk to the media, what do you tell them, um, uh, who does not get to talk to the media, and, you know, make sure that everybody knows this, you know, when reporters come up to them, you know, they should know who the reporters should be talking to, you know, I am sorry, I have a job to do, it is not talking to you, um, you should be talking to, you know, the uh, public relations spokesperson, whatever. Um, you know, uh, that's, you know, everybody should, should know uh, that. And, you know, that's really all they do need to know, um, for the most part. Um, anyway... Uh, the in informing the team, um, the people who are going to be doing the the functions in in an emergency should be the people giving feedback as to what should be done. Um, you know, they should be the people who who do this normally in in many cases. You know, they are the people who know what can be done and what can't be done, particularly what can't be done in a uh, 
specific situation about, um, you know, an, an emergency. What resources are needed for which functions? Uh, so they should be involved in the preparation. Now, um, you need a business continuity plan coordinator. And, you know, this is, again, uh, this is a specialized task. Um, there is an awful lot of herding of cats that is going to be uh, part of this person's responsibility. Um, <clears throat> again, you, you may or may not have a full-time business continuity disaster recovery team. Uh, and so this is somebody, the, the coordinator is somebody who's going to have to be uh, good at seconding people from various parts of the company to address different parts of the plan. Um, it should be somebody who is high enough in the corporate structure to have the ear of senior management. Um, this is, you know, somebody who has to be making regular reports, who has to be gaining management approval at a number of different points as the plan develops. And, and so that person has to be, uh, you know, high enough to be able to talk to those people, but low enough to understand the frontline workers' concerns and, and their needs, uh, and particularly their needs in an unusual situation. So um, having a full knowledge of the enterprise is definitely a, a part of what this person needs to do. And having a vision of the total scope of the problem is also really, really important in, in the BCP coordinator's position.